Hello and welcome to Cardioversion Pad Placement. My name is David Woodruff. I'm the editor of Critical Care Nursing Made Incredibly Easy. I hope to make this incredibly easy for you too. Let's talk a little bit about where to place those pads for a cardioversion. So what happens with cardioversion is we're going to put pads on the patient's chest in order to shock their heart back into a reasonable rhythm. So this is what the pads might look like. Obviously, this is on a dummy here, but uh, this is what a pad placement might look like if we were doing cardioversion on a patient. So we have a couple different options here. Here is our patient. We kind of did a cutaway so you can see down to the muscle and et cetera to get a better feel for how the electricity is gonna flow through the body using two different techniques. One technique is the straight through kind of technique. So that's the anterior posterior technique. The other technique is going to be the anterior anterior or anterior lateral. So we have the electricity flowing this way instead of directly through the body. Well, it would kind of make sense that anterior posterior is a more direct route, but on the other hand, we have less muscle, et cetera, to go through if we're going anterior lateral. So we needed to find out a little bit more about this and find out which one of these two systems works best. Is it anterior posterior, like on the left, where the electricity is going through the body, or is it anterior lateral, as is imaged on the right? So doctors Schmidt and colleagues got together and did a study looking at which one of these would be most effective. The primary outcome of this study was to have sinus rhythm after one shock. After one shock, the anterior posterior group had sinus rhythm in about 33% of the time. After one shock, the anterior lateral group had sinus rhythm after one shock about 54% of the time. So kind of an improvement there with that one shock system. Okay, how about the secondary outcome of sinus rhythm after four shocks? So you see that with either one of these types of pad placement, we didn't get a hundred percent sinus rhythm conversion with the one shock. So up to four shocks here, we found 85% of the anterior posterior group was converted into sinus rhythm with four shocks. 93% though, was converted with the anterior lateral technique. So what they are recommending is the anterior lateral pad positioning is superior to anterior posterior for cardioversion. The same thing would, we could assume, be true if we are talking about defibrillation as well. So apparently there is a more direct route and it seems to be more accurate to be doing our anterior lateral rather than anterior posterior. So here's a study if you want to pull it up and take a look at it by Dr. Schmidt and colleagues, the anterior lateral versus anterior posterior electrode position for cardioverting atrial fibrillation in circulation in 2021. Well, thank you for joining me for cardioversion pad placement. My name is David Woodruff. Until next time, bye now.